Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? I decided to do finally get some screenshots of the website that I look at to get all my coronavirus data. This is WRAL.com out of Raleigh. <coughs> Has some very good graphs. We have tracking coronavirus curve in North Carolina. This is the death rate here. And then we also have the curve that everybody is talking about. And if you scroll down a little bit further, <coughs> you have the number of tests, number of tests day by day. As I always talk about, the seven-day rolling average is the more important of the, of the two things. Just like up here on tracking the curve, you can see that there's some some days a lot of things get reported, other days very few things get reported. And it's not because it's not because of anything but the local agencies not getting their data in on a daily basis. It looks like a lot of them wait until the weekend, like Friday afternoon, to submit them to the Department of Health NC Department of Health and Human Services. So this is where the majority of this data comes from. So right now we are in a curve where we are experiencing 1,245 new cases on a rolling average per day. One thing I do want to point out about that is that the number of tests that are being done, if you look at the graphs, they're very similar. They're both rising. So the, the, the <coughs> rolling average of testing is 17,000. The rolling average of cases is 1,200. And then they have this really nice little graph right here that shows that regardless of how many people are being tested, the rate of infection appears to be 7%. And we can see that it has been right at 7, a little bit over 7, peaked around 8 about a month and a half ago. But remarkably steady. You know, when this all started, they said, the infection rate was going to be 20%, and now it's turned out to actually be 7%, which is much better than the early predictions. Now, I don't know. <coughs> I think a lot of it does have to do with the fact that a lot of people have had it, and they aren't aware of it, and they won't know until they really do full-scale testing on the entire population of North Carolina. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but... There's a cumulative testing. So about, eh, oh, okay, there we go. 731,000 have been tested in the state out of a state of 10 million people. So that's not very much considering that this has been going on now since March. We're four months into it, and they've still only done 731,000 tests. But there's, so you can see, you can see for yourself. This is what I like about. So I, I ignore all the news up here because they're so they're so hysterical in some of their language. It's called histrionics, I think. <clears throat> you can see that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence near. Well, there is. There has to be a one-to-one -one correspondence because the the rate of infection is seven percent. So as this, as the graph of new cases, and this is cumulative, by the way. No, it's not. I'm sorry, that's not cumulative. Where's the cumulative one? Well, there's, here's a graph that does, does cause, is a cause for some concern. The, the rolling daily average of hospitalizations has been steadily going up. Although you might expect that, given that everything else is going up. So everything has got, is, is corresponding, every graph is corresponding to each other in a, in a very linear fashion. So we're not getting any kind of you know, exponential growth in, in this thing. It's just going up a certain amount every day. The rate of increase is going up, but the rate of testing is going up. So <coughs> that's, just the way it, that's just the way it's going. Um, cumulative cases, of course that, 56,000 in North Carolina. Uh, according to their website, approximately 29,000 have recovered. I don't, I'm not sure where they get that figure, but 
maybe it's been people that they, they've tracked people who've come to get tested at, at one of these testing sites and yeah they're 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 tracking them until <clears throat> they know whether or not they've well whether they've made it or not uh, there was one other graph I wanted to show oh new deaths now this is good news not good news if you're if you're one of those people who died or you're one of those people who know someone who's died but look how flat despite despite the upward trend in testing the uh, the upward trend in positive tests the 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 rate of the death rate remains pretty much static i mean 15 16 the peak was 22 new deaths on June 2nd. That was a seven-day rolling average. But really, it's pretty much around 16, let's just call it 17, 18 per day, which is, it's, out, of, out, of a, out of a population the size that we have, is not, to me, well, it's a good statistic because it's staying flat. It'd be nice if they were all zero, but we know some people are going to die from this. So I just wanted to show that to you. You can go to WRL.com. I'm sure your own state has its own Department of Health and Human Services or something by a similar name, and maybe you have a local or website linked to your television network station, news station, that, that provides this kind of info. So everything is going up except for the death rate which is a good thing which means the death rate is continually going down you know number of deaths stay static the number of cases rises therefore the death rate is lower much much lower so we are not we are not you know it's it's not nearly time to panic it's just time to keep doing what you're doing all right got any questions or comments leave them in the section below like and subscribe we appreciate when you do and we will see you on the next video I can find my thingy.